Eureka Brady Blager woke up at 3.30 in the morning to prepare for school at 5.30 in the morning. Parents are worried because their children have to travel to school while it is still dark out. After taking a bath and wearing her uniform, Eureka Brady Blager went straight to the dining table to have a breakfast of bread and milk that her mother had provided. Atarambu, Eureka Brady Blager's mother is always worried when her daughter is alone at school. She considers the policy of East Nusa Tenggara provincial government to be ineffective. Instead, it creates vulnerability for students who can become victims of crime. Kalau bilang khawatir ya sangat khawatir. Hmm. Ya sangat takut juga karena masih gelap begini nih. Anak-anak pergi sendiri ya nih. Harus keamanannya tidak terjamin di luar. Ya itu yang bikin kita uh, khawatir. Masih gelap gulita. Nah, untung ya anak saya masih punya kendaraan. Nah, kalau bagi anak-anak yang tidak punya kendaraan, yang masih masuk ke dalam, kayak begini ada teman yang masih dari sana. Nah, itu kan repot. Kita mau minta ojek, jam segini belum ada ojek. Ya, benar. Nah, kendaraan tidak ada. Jadi memang itu sangat sulit sih, masih, masih sangat sulit. Eureka Brady Blager is 12th grade student of Kupang Senior High School. Even though the policy has entered the fourth day, starting learning activities at dawn makes a lot of parents worried. At 5.30 a.m., Eureka Brady Blager rode her motorcycle to school, approximately 11 kilometers from her home. She went on the road, which was still quiet and dark. Arriving at school, Eureka Brady Blager mingled with her friends to take part in the morning assembly and listen to instructions. The teachers also kept the student spirits up with chants. After the morning assembly, all students are directed to enter the class to pray and clean the class before receiving lessons from the teacher. Pagi sarapan tidak? Kadang sarapan, kadang tidak. Bangunnya jam berapa? Bangunnya jam 4. Although the policy has been implemented for just four days, Eureka feels that it is burdensome because sometimes she forgets to have breakfast because she has to rush to school. See today contributor reporting from Kupang, East Nusa Tenggara.